House, the National Capital, Capital Territory of Delhi Amendment Bill 2023. Sir, it, it is very interesting to note that the Honorable Supreme Court gave its judgment on 11 May upholding the power of the Delhi government in matters related to Delhi services. And within seven days, the ordinance was promulgated to override the Supreme Court judgment. Sir, what was the exigency to bring an ordinance in such a hasty manner? According to Article 123.1, the President can promulgate the ordinance only when the circumstances exist which render it necessary for take immediate action. And the Honorable Supreme Court has pointed out several times that power to promulgate ordinance under Article 123 should be exercised with due diligence and caution. Sir, it shows that the BJP government cannot even wait for a single minute to act upon matters which it considers affecting their supremacy. Sir, by interpreting Article 239 AA, the Honorable Supreme Court made it clear that the Delhi government has power to make laws and administer civil services. That's why the Honorable Supreme Court limited the role of the Lieutenant Governor over bureaucrats except to three specific areas such as public order, police and land. Sir, the Apex Court made it clear that the Lieutenant Governor role is to either act on the aid and advice of the Council of Ministers or implement their decisions. Sir, the Supreme Court recognized that concept of federalism, federalism applies to Delhi despite it not being accorded the status of a state. Sir, the bill envisages the sitting of new statutory body, National Capital Civil Services Authority, which consists of two bureaucrats, Chief Secretary and Principal Secretary of Home, and the Chief Minister of Delhi. Sir, and thus decision made by the authority will be based on majority. The opinion of the Chief Minister, who is an elected representative, can be overruled by the bureaucrats who are supposed to work under him. The irony does not stop there. If differences of opinion prevails, the final decision will be made by the left governor, effectively reversing the verdict of the Honorable Supreme Court. So the object of the bill is nothing but to place the left governor of Delhi as an autocratic ruler above the elected governor. Government. Sir, sir, because of a non BJP government is ruling Delhi, the government is trying to sabotage the spirit of the democracy in Delhi. Sir, this government is finding one or other way to jeopardize the people's mandates in the states. Either they will dissolve the assembly and impose governor's rule as done in Kashmir. Sir, sir, or they will purchase legislators. Outrightly, as we witnessed in many states like Goa, Karnataka, and everywhere when non-BJP government has come to power. Sir, and if that also not possible, comes with a, a bill of this kind of snatch, the power using bureaucrats. Sir, and one more tactic is there, that of using the enforcement directors, the one and only lifelong, the one and only lifelong director Sanjay Kumar Misra to threaten the legislators to seek their side. Sir, this government is claiming that Supreme Court judgment has given the power to bring a new legislation, if needed to control the service of the Delhi administration. Sir, why this government is silent on the Supreme Court remarks against the handling of violence in Manipur? So, sir, sir, even after the Supreme Court indicting that there has been complete breakdown of constitutional machinery in Manipur, the BJP has no changes chief minister from the post. Why BJP central leaders be silent on Manipur? Sir, it is because they have a clear political agenda in Manipur, which is the agenda of RSS. Sir, we have seen how this government tried to bring BJP to power municipalities in Delhi by merging the four municipal corporations to one by bringing a legislation in this house. Sir, then we, we saw how vehemently the BJP has opposed the election of Delhi mayor as they failed to get majority even after court direction to support uh, people's mandates. Sir, after all, after all, you registered a case against the Honorable C.M. Kejriwal only because he asked them about the degree certificate of our, our PM. So this government is again and again making it clear that they are not ready to accommodate any state or any union territory government that is non-BJP. Sir, it will be reputation. No doubt it will be reputation of what we have seen in Lakshadweep, Kerala, 
Tamil Nadu and Bengal, where the governors and lieutenant governors are behaving like the puppets no, in the no, hands no, of the no, union no, government. No, you sir, the Tamil like Nadu. No, sir, 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 one no, more, one more. No. Sir, sir, one, one, one minute. No. The Tamil Nadu governor even ordered the no, removal no. of a minister of the cabinet. Can't be. And his vision, that can't go that had to withdraw the order as it may when they get the constitution. Sir, you know, sir, the bill is with the same intention what you have been doing in the other state to make mockery of the democratic principle using the governors. Sir, I, sir, I no, reiterate no. that this no. bill is anti-democratic no. and anti-constitutional against the principle. Please, sir. I thank you, sir, for giving.